Well, the genesis of this body of work, uh, Things Known, will be the title of the show. Yeah. And I, um, I kind of ponder it over themes, uh, you know, because whenever you do a show, you, you like to have some kind of um, focus in a way. And I'm not big on themes, but I, I felt uh, obviously this show and this body of work should have a theme. And, and I discussed it with Megan, and I, and I came up with uh, first I said, Things I Know. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's very, that's, uh, very specific. Mm -hmm. uh, this body of painting is um, a, um, annotation of what I know uh, in terms of uh, using nature as my reference, as my uh, theme, and um, letting that be a language. Mm -hmm. Letting the, 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 the content, the texture of nature be a way that I could uh, create a language to speak about very difficult topics social topics, political topics, environmental topics, without necessarily being verbatim, mm -hmm. or without uh, going, uh, using a narrative, mm -hmm. you know, a figurative narrative. Or a, so um, it's, it's um, the complexity of nature and uh, unraveling how I could use it and interpret it in a way that I could make a painting and make the painting make sense was really the, uh, uh, the challenge here mm -hmm. uh, because uh, each large piece, particularly, uh, I saw it as a kind of a, a microcosm of a, a city or a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It had its various zones, it had its various neighborhoods, it had its various um, areas. And each area was very distinct from another, but at the same time, all these parts had to come together to, to, to create a healthy environment or to, to make a painting mm -hmm. that held together. Uh, so that was the metaphor, you know. And um, uh, much of the dialogue was an internal dialogue, uh, thinking and commenting to myself on what was important and what events had moved me, whether it would be yesterday or the day before, or just the kind of things we're in now with, um, you know, Black Lives Matter, or you know, Me Too, or just the environment and you know, degradation of, uh, of pollution, the the cruelty to animals and people, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, inability to live in a house, having a job, I can't even have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. but you can't afford. So, uh, for, you know, it, it just made sense for me to to speak about these things, but to, to talk about them in such a way that um, that they, they they were not a lecture, and you would have to broach it through a kind of aesthetic sensibility. Mm -hmm. And that's why I thought that this particular way was unique and correct for me. So this body of work comes out of that, of, of uh, speaking about difficult themes and subjects in a way that basically kind of disarms the viewer first and then hopefully allows a place where they can actually go past the, the, the idea of what a painting is or what an idea is around a theme and just let the in, internal stuff start to work, okay? And that's where the, all the parts come into it, you know, the, the compositional uh, arrangements, the relationships of one thing to another, soft to hard, uh, texture to smooth, you know, and uh, cool to warm. You know, all those devices are employed in this. Um, and it, it's, um, and also the, the, uh, the work uh, had to flow along a kind of um, a systematic continuum of, uh, of, uh, of believability. So uh, water, most universal, you know, most uh, rejuvenating, uh, all things that are, that are purified, purified through water. So that right there symbolically was a powerful metaphor for me to incorporate, and one that I know, you know, growing up on the Gulf Coast, I mean, I grew up in water, mm -hmm. literally, you know? And where how water meets uh, earth, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's a delicate, fragile relationship. It's an intimacy of, 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 of almost a mysterious quality about you know, life meeting meeting its 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 a counterpoint in a way, and then creation coming out of that, and uh, the variations and possibilities is, are just uh, a myriad, you know, of, of, of possibilities that that uh, emanate from that. So all of this was was in there. It's almost like a, a speaking in tongue vis-a-vis uh, -vis a painting. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's how sort of how I see it. And now I don't. Feel that anybody else should be able to uh, understand it that way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter. But can you have an, an experience when you are 
um, in perceiving the pieces. Mm -hmm. And then the pieces as a body of work, many of them arranged together in close proximity, I want this to be an overwhelming uh, experience where you have to basically let something happen for you. Mm -hmm. Or let something happen to you. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and that is, don't intellectualize it, just feel it and see what comes up for you. That's great. You know, that's, that's, so that's really the genesis of this, was to really develop a body of work that became an environment. Mm -hmm. You know, an installation of sorts, except just pretty much pictorial mm -hmm. enclosures. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. with all of the themes that, um, th that are reminiscent of being, out, you know, of being outside, of being inside, you know, um, things are moving, um, energy is flowing through you. If, if it gets obstructed in a way, it, it gets static. You know, things moving along a bank in a stream, you know, the leaves that, 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 that cling to the sides, they get static until they're freed up. You know, it's very similar to how we are when we get stuck on certain things. It's like a leaf, it's like our being stuck is like a leaf being stuck to the side of a, a twig in, 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 in the stream, mm -hmm. you know? And it gets stuck there until it's liberated, it flows on and moves on. So all of these metaphors are in this for me. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, Never intended to make this kind of work, but uh, I had a, um, uh, I, let's just say I had an experience in my life where uh, there was a, uh, um, I, had, I had an accident, and um, it disrupted my cognitive uh, facilities for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And um, so in the process of my rehabilitation, I realized that I had to almost relearn everything. So what I decided to do was to take on what I thought were very difficult tasks, such as making a work that was very complicated mm -hmm. as part of that process. And that's also how this, this body of work came about, mm -hmm. you know, because nobody in their right mind would approach this, <laughs> you know, this way, you know, particularly at the scale. But, but then again, but then you, see, you get to see the order mm -hmm. of how things are made and how it all comes together and, 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 and they're just systems of, of a creativeness, and you know the old the old master the old masters did this. I mean, they had you know uh, uh, ways of, of, of creating the compositions, of making the space you know believable, of of uh, you know foreground stuff like that. Just really the capacity to move the viewer, just you know almost have a kind of <clears throat> euphoric experience. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and certainly that's all in our canon of things we could do. Mm -hmm. But for me, I wanted to discover these things on my own yeah. and to make them uniquely for me. You know, and that's why there's such a still a long ways for me to go with this, and the opportunities are just uh, absolutely open in terms of what's possible and where I could actually take the series. So, this uh, body of work concludes with this show, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. and the the next iteration or continuation of it will be from this point on to the next place where I feel that this work is evolving towards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much that's it. That's great. Okay. I think that was like...